So what we're talking about here today is a two spring model system and the various parts of that and why is it important to train um, this concept of muscles and tendons to prevent injury and increase performance. Now one of the performance factors that you have is um, obviously rate of force development which is one of the better predictors of athletic performance and in regards to physical qualities. So part of that system is both the, the muscle training part of it and the force transfer of the tendons and the tendon training part of it uh, as well. So if these two systems, the muscle and the tendon, are working together, you, you get an extremely efficient free energy return in performance. So what people have seen is after the triphasic model, they have become more efficient at their conditioning. Um, and basically what you're doing is you have the systems that the spring systems that are very efficient um, working optimally so you have to produce less energy to cover more ground and you then in turn have more energy reserved to play your sports now this is part of the benefits of the triphasic system and why it works for performance and injury prevention so the process of training um, at the start of process, you obviously have two tendons. Um, if you haven't been doing or whatever you've been doing, whether you're playing your sport or um, setting on the couch, these reach optimal. Um, I would say not optimal, but they, they kind of self-regulate themselves on needs of the organism. Um, then when you start a training process, and, and ideally this is what you want. You want both of them, the ideal range and stiffness in regards to... Um, preventing each other from um, beating themselves up, which I'll get to in a second. But this should be the part of the training process. You start here and, and here. Now, this doesn't happen overnight. So the flaws in the training process are, you can see here, if one spring becomes more dominant in the other, then this is where injury can occur in each tissue. Okay, so for example, when you have somebody who only does speed training and plyo training, um, they lack training the muscle and are training more the tendon and then what happened is the tendon becomes stiff in the fascia I should also put fascia in there but basically what happens is then they this this group here has issues with the muscle now the same thing will happen over here with max strength athletes only so for example a power lifter the muscle gets super strong and the tendon gets beat up by the muscle because it's not been trained enough and I'll get into a little bit more detail here. So the flaws with the system is that the plyo and speed training only will build up the tendon and they will not build up the muscle as well. It takes care of some of it but it's not fully um, functional that way. So these athletes have a tendency to pull muscles in the hamstring if they pull hamstring and they pull muscles more because the tendon this spring here is so stiff and so strong it hasn't um, and it hasn't been developed uh, in regards for the muscle to to work coincide with these two springs. Now this can happen even months later so you have an athlete that all they did was um, hey, I worked with a personal trainer or somebody that didn't know the process and they or a speed coach or whatever it may be and this is all we did so the problem is is if they only did speed and plyos this is what transpired now they may not pull a muscle later or right away but eventually some point in the season because this process hasn't been developed correctly throughout the off season that sometime in the season this will happen so um yes it can even have happen months later now the other process that takes place with a flawed system is training heavy loads only. These athletes um, tend to pull tendons and fascia. Why? Because they've only built up their muscle with heavy strength training. Um, the muscles basically overpower the fascia. And a prime example is an athlete that works max strength only all the time and doesn't train the tendon will ultimately um, basically, for example, elite power lifters, they'll, they'll tear quad tendons, they'll tear bicep tendons, um, they have fascia issues often um, because they haven't uh, they haven't addressed the, the, the tendon part of it. Now the power phase which I'll get into, um, you don't have to go super light, do plyos and running for elite power lifter. You can just do your power phases of loadings between like 50 and 70 percent in the off season maybe because you wouldn't want to do 50 and 70 percent uh, training right up to a 
particular meet. So what will transpire is maybe you're off season, you focus on lighter loads and moving max speed and weight. But for the athlete, this is of, of great value to have a part of a process here, which I will talk about. Now, here's where the benefits of triphasic training comes in. At the start of training, you obviously have these springs. So then if you've read triphasic training and you understand what you have is an eccentric model for a couple weeks and an isometric model, and then if you choose to go a heavy model, you can, or you can jump right to power. It depends on your athlete's need. But what this does here is the eccentrics basically train the muscle and the isometrics train the muscle and a little bit more of the tendon. And these are focusing on this um, sequence. And then what happens during the power, the ASFM phase and the peaking phase, which can be combined together, is that the tendon gets trained. So then what you have is this benefits of triphasic that is part of the, the uh, process of um, when you start here in this um, with this type of two springs, they become very efficient within themselves at the end of training. And so this is why a triphasic training cycle is optimal for speed and performance uh, in that regard. So today, I hope you just get a sound understanding of this tissue remodeling and tissue structuring of triphasic and why it has some pretty amazing benefits. And this is in regards to where uh, people have had a 300% decrease in, um, in injuries, soft tissues, because of the triphasic system that have been reported to me. So um, hopefully you, you uh, grasp this concept and understand why that there is a training process um, within triphasic and why it has worked so well for, many, for so many people for many number of years and myself up to 15 years to 16 I've been using the process.